Hi, this is Dennis Prager, and this is what you missed yesterday on the show. The painful, and you don't even have to react to this, certainly you're free to, but you, I'm, I'm not putting you on the spot. I just want you to know that there's a pain in me with regard to you, you who are liberal rather than leftist, and that is that most don't realize that the threat to liberalism is not coming from conservatism, it's coming from the left. So we just leave it okay. at that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, that, that's, a, that's a debatable point, um, but that's a question of politics. And Well, let I'm, me ask you this. Forgive my... me for interrupting you. When you mentioned yeah, politics, sure, politics coming into Yale, yes. do you have conservative examples of interference with education from the right or only from the left? No, the, the, uh, the, 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 the politics that dominates the Yale campus today as it does many, most of our campuses across the country, is left progressive. There's no question about that. Most of the students here steer left. Uh, most of my colleagues on the faculty do. If the pressure were coming from the other direction, I'd be just as upset. As I know, but it, but it isn't. Of course, I would yeah, too, right. okay. but it isn't. But at the, at the moment, it isn't. The historical period in which we find ourselves now is one in which, within the academy, the dominant pressures, uh, political pressures, are coming from uh, the left. There's no question about that. That's just, a, I think, a fact that anyone who was even remotely familiar with campus life would verify. 